Okay, real estate investing. Here's the money makeover Monday tip. We're gonna be looking at this unit here that I've hired some contractors to lay down some vinyl flooring. So let's take a look, shall we? Okay, so they started and my management company told me that I have defective material here because the seams are not going in. And I told the management company, look, I put this same flooring in another unit and I didn't have any problems. And I could tell you right now what the problem is, is that they're not using a soft hammer to bang the seams in. You gotta, you gotta get a soft hammer and bang these seams in. That's what's going on right now. Um, so, sometimes you just gotta like get in there and, and show these people how to do a job, okay? Um, not every contractor is gonna know what to do. Um, I thought they knew what they were doing, but they don't know what they're doing. And um, they're gonna have to do the rest of this flooring here. I started here, but I was like, you know what, I'm hiring somebody because I got, I got bigger fish to fry. I have to raise $130,000 to do more rehab, like paint this freaking building and power wash and install the gigabit passive optical network that I designed. So laying fiber down and all that stuff. So, you know, I got bigger fish to fry than, than lay down flooring. But when you have a project, you got to stay on top of your contractors. You have to stay on top of them because they're just, they're just not going to do the work right. And unfortunately, a lot of times um, I have to end up actually firing them and then doing the work myself. I don't want to fire people, but if you're going to tell me that this is defective flooring, the whole thing, and um, you, should know the, you should know the work if you're doing the work, right? Um, it's not defective flooring. You just didn't use a hammer to bang these edges down. And that's how you lock the floor in place, basically. Um, I fired so many contractors. I've, I've done the work myself. A lot of times I just pay them. And I just say thank you very much for your work. Thank you very much for your time. Um, but thank you. I, we, will, we will handle it from here. And I'm very peaceful and I'm very cordial with them. I don't like to crush people's spirits. Um, you know, when I hire them, I just don't like to hurt people's feelings, you know, and, and, and just cause a lot of animosity and stress. I mean, God has blessed me so much to be able to hire people to do work like this, um, pay people, have more than enough to be able to pay people and, and hire people for jobs. I'm ex extremely, extremely blessed. And um, I just take it as a blessing. I sow, I sow that seed for them and just put them on their way and just be peaceful. Because at the end of the day, I know it's business, I know it's a lot of money. I mean, I'm, I'm, going, I'm spending a lot of money to put this in and it's not being done right. And um, I could just tell you so many times that I've, I've just sowed seeds into people that I've hired to do work and they just didn't do good work. And what I mean by sowing seeds is I mean that I'll pay you for the, for the subpar work or for a job that's not finished and I'll let you be on your way. Meaning, you know, I'm, I'm doing something for you, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna get angry. I mean, I might be, yeah, okay, I might be very angry at the beginning, like right now I was very angry. But then I turned it around and I said, the Lord has blessed me so much. He's helped me so much and I'm just sowing a seed and for that person, because maybe they just need to pay their bills too, right? And they're, or they just broke up with their girlfriend or their marriage is ending and they just don't know how to work and they, they can't work. Their mind is like on these other things. Their kids are uh, uh, doing the wrong thing, whatever it is. So I don't know, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna come back with my hammer and bang all these edges down. And I'm gonna show them how to do the work. And part of me is like, triple amputees kicking your ass. Yeah, I am kicking your ass. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do the damn work. Um, but that's just the humble side of me. But then there's the other side of me, which is the rage. It's like, come on, bro. I got one hand and no legs and I'm kicking your ass doing the work that I hired you to do? Come on, you gotta, you gotta be better than that. You got to be better than that. Anyway, that's it. So let me go get my hammer, get my tools, suit up. See you in the next video.